very neat. Killed in a third. <sighs> well, as we're dealing with wands, I've done a lot of research. And a lot of you have dismissed this because you thought it was just imagination of the writer or whatever. I'm talking about the wand waving wind, Harry Potter. So what have you missed? I'll tell you what you've missed. And I found two or three of them, little gems hidden. I'm dealing with one at the moment. It's the Patronus. So you want to know what the Patronus is. Well, each one of you has what they call a guardian animal. He's there to protect you. He's a spirit creature. And he's there to protect you. Dark Raven one has a wolf. I have a dirty great big dragon. Um, and so forth. So, the, he will not move unless you command him to move. So let's go to a kind of imaginary scenario here. You suddenly find that you have a dark being invading your territory. This dark being it could, it can be uh, spiritual, it can be from dark magic that someone's launched against you. You've got to get rid of it. Now there's a lot of things you can do in psychic defense, self-defense to get rid of this. So I'm going, I'll go back to Harry Potter. I've, mo the ones I've mentioned, I've experimented with and I find they work. So you must release your Patronus, which will defend you. So use your wand, direct it at the entity, and with conviction, it's not just a matter of just saying the words, it's got to, you've got to have conviction here. An utter expectro patronium. Visualize a white light coming from your wand and taking the shape of your guardian animal. He will then proceed to defend you. Now, I, when I first saw this, I thought, yeah, that looks great. That, <laughs> that ain't gonna work. It does work. <laughs> now, there are a lot of different things you can do. Um, take, for instance, someone has launched a spell at you. Now you haven't got an entity facing you, so it's no good using Petronium. Expect for Petronium. It's no good using that. You must use something else. So, you use, it's a very short one, it's called Protejo. Protejo causes a bounce. So the person who has launched the spell on you, it can be bounced back at the person that's launched it. Now, there's another point I want to point out. Um, be careful when anointing your wand. Use a neutral oil. Um, grape oil will do, or just a neutral oil. Don't have. Uh, um, incense oils, essential oils. Don't use them. Because if you use essential oils, you're going to do it for a reason. And you want to use your wand for a reason. This is why Dark Raven one and myself, we have several wands because they have different aspects. One's for healing, one's for calling, um, various Spirit, as various animals. 
and one's for general general work. So do not, unless you're going to dedicate that wand to one specific purpose, So I, I'm just wondering what's going to happen there. Nothing. Ah. Uh, don't do it. Like if you want your one to do nothing else but healing, then you anoint it and you tell the wand, treat the wand as a living thing. Be one with the wand. Um, don't ignore it. Give it a name, call it, talk to it. Get close to it. Become one with it. Then you'll find it will work, and it will work for you. But if you anoint it to do a specific purpose, it won't do anything else but that purpose, because that's what it's designed for. So if you use uh, a carrier oil, use car olive oil is quite grand, and just anoint it, massage it. Ones like to be massaged. Don't treat a wand as a negative thing. It can, it can become alive by your will. Why? Because it is your birthright. It is your heritage. You are witches and wizards. You can cause these things to happen by your will. Okay, you've got this lump of plastic in your hands. Mm, they've got a lump of plastic. How can that be a wand? By your will, it can become a wand. I use mine. Uh, I've got my earth wand, which Shadow Dancer made for me, which I use for earth magic. And I have my other wand, which is virtually constructed of plastic. But the electronics inside of it convey what I want. They do, it does what I want. And it does work. I have used it many times. I test it on myself first. I told you how to test your wand. You hold your wand by your finger. Go through the, the energy from here. Collect it from your legs, your arms. Every time you breathe in, increase the energy, then let it flow. And direct it at your finger. And you'll feel a tingling on your finger. And you'll actually be able to see this ropey, uh, misted energy hitting your finger. And as you move your, uh, uh, as you move your wand up, you'll see it still coming, coming down to your finger. It's like chewing gum. It's great fun. So if you don't think it will work, trust me and try it. Your wand is the most versatile weapon. I say weapon tool that you have. It's more versatile than your athemi. And the other the other thing that I want to bring into of your magical tools, of course, is the drum or the flute. Try to keep away from electronic instruments because you want to be as natural as you can. If you have a flute, you say, well, I can't play a flute, I'm tone deaf. Everybody can play a Native American flute if you know how to. I will teach you. Go out into the woods, hear the birds, copy the birds on the flute. Interesting. You'll find it very interesting. Become one with nature. Don't try and make man-made music. <laughs> Any fool can do that. Make your own music. Feel your way through it. Make your own music. Why do you have to copy a piece of music that's on a disc or on the charts or anything else? This is not the way it's supposed to be. The way it's supposed to be is for you to blend in with nature, to enhance nature. To do this, you must use the flute or even the drum. 
don't formulate it to set music. Let it come from here. And lo and behold, you'll suddenly find you can play a flute and you're tone deaf. Simple, isn't it? So those who want to give this a try, go for it. I, I tell you now, it'll be an eye-opener. I can teach you the basics of the flute. That's all you need to know. Once you've got the basics, you'll be flying it. To get the basics, you have to go on to the other site um, to learn musical instruments. Yes, you can play. Anyone can play. Don't give me the crap about you being tone deaf. Don't give me the crap that takes years to learn. It'll take you approximately, oh, I'd say about half an hour to an hour. And you'll be quite accomplished. You haven't got to look like a side-blowing flute where you've got to formulate the noise through the, the side of the flute. You haven't got that problem that's been dealt with. Um, it plays very similar to the recorder, except it's higher pitched. If it's an F sharp, it will be. Um, and you're only using, what, six fingers instead of eight. And you'll be amazed at the beautiful sounds that you will produce. It will enhance your spirit. It'll deepen your pranic energy. It will strengthen your aura. You become one with nature. So give it a try. And Gobshy, how long have I got? Um, let's see. A minute and twenty. So what I've got left? Yeah. Okay, so get out your wands and get practicing and enjoy. Have a happy sewing. Just enjoy it. Don't eat too much. <laughs> Namaste.